All right, guys, so here we are <clears throat> messing around in the garage again. Um, pick up this 185S gas tank. Showed you guys in my last video, I picked it up with this KLT 110. If you haven't seen that video, just click on my page and look past my last video there. Um, it's in pretty good shape. Uh, I mean, for a little beater bike that I'm going to be using it on. It's got one big dent here and then another good sized dent on the other side. But uh, it'll work for what I'm using it for as long as the bottom's not rusted through or anything like that. The one I had didn't fit like at all. I tried an older, like a 82 or older 110 gas tank and it, uh, it didn't line up very good. Same bubble style, but just completely different shape. So I jammed some brackets on there and uh, stuck a 125M gas tank on there just to get it to run. And so this time when I'm up in New York, I'm gonna leave here in a couple weeks. I want to have this one all clean and ready to go. So I'm trying to mess around with the flashlight here and see if I can get a good view of the inside. Show you guys how dirty it is. Try to use the light in the... Yeah, see? It's pretty dirty. Pretty rusty. So uh, show you guys the process that I use <coughs> to um, clean these old gas tanks. I know there's a lot of different ways. You can use muriatic acid or... I've even heard molasses. A lot of the old timers used to use molasses, but it takes like months. So like my grandpa would use them for the older um, Bridge and Stratton engines and stuff like that. He was, I think it was, I can't remember if it was molasses mixed with something else, but uh, take it and set it on a shelf and leave it there for like a good six months and it would clean. Also heard Coca-Cola, um, a little bit of gasoline or any sort of acid with a uh, like rocks for fish tanks or nuts and bolts personal and then sloshing it around like uh strap it to the back of your truck or something like that like in the bed and drive around for a couple weeks and just the sloshing around i did one one time where i wrapped it up in some rags uh, i think i made a youtube video of it. it might be on my page can't remember and i strapped it to like the side of the tire jack up the back end and uh put a jack stand under there on both sides and then uh, strap it to the outside of the tire and just let it rotate and rotate and slosh back and forth. Put the, I, I did that on my, with my 125M, so I just left it in uh, like second gear and just let it slosh and slosh and slosh. Now I left it like that for a couple hours and the only thing I managed to do was the pockets here where it cups the frame. Um, the only thing I really managed to do was get a bunch of nuts and bolts stuck down in there and I didn't really care for that. So I don't really like that method. So what I use is the old apple cider vinegar. I like to fill it right to the top. I got two gallons, just went to Walmart here a few minutes ago. And then the last part is just the cheap paint thinner. Um, I don't know if you really necessarily need to use this, but I used it the first one I ever cleaned with a 250SX and it was way dirtier than this and it came out super, super clean. Um, so I guess you probably don't have to use that. I know a lot of guys don't. I like to use the apple cider vinegar because it's pretty high acid for like a food um, but it's not anything like really really acid like muriatic acid or any of the other kind of acids that you know that's what they're intended for so with these old gas tanks that you know they're already wearing thin and they're already pretty old this one's probably an 81 or an 82 or so so personally I don't want to use anything that harsh just because it takes a chance of actually creating a hole that's not already there um, I'm in El Paso Texas so I'll show you guys my receipt from Walmart uh, here in a second. Uh, just show you how much this stuff costs. It's like four bucks for the gallon of apple cider vinegar and then four or something for the paint thinner. But I'll show you guys a legit um, receipt here in a second. And uh, <clears throat> we'll see how much it costs all together and how much time and all that kind of stuff. And then uh, I'll get back in a day or two once I actually get it cleaned out and I'll go through the rest of the process. All right, so just did some pretty little artwork on my uh, debit card information and the barcode and all that kind of stuff. Got to be all careful on the internet because it's nice to believe that everybody's a good person, but in reality, there's some assholes out there. So I don't want anybody to get my information and uh, steal the money that I don't have. But uh, just to show you, this is the great value apple cider vinegar. Comes by the gallon. Get in the uh, aisle that's got all the huge gallon jars of pickles and shit. Um, it is see here, 408 a gallon, so I usually get two gallons. That's eight bucks and 16 cents. And then the paint thinner is Clean Strip brand, I guess. Uh, 
comes in the same aisles like uh, paint and you know spray paint, sandpaper, that kind of stuff. It's also where I get my goof off for cleaning paint. Um, pretty cheap, four, let's see here, four twenty-eight. So plus tax, so that's twelve bucks. Um, all together, probably about 13, 14 bucks with tags. So pretty cheap. I had a couple other items on here. Kind of want to give you guys a false, uh, false amount. So anyway, what I'll do is, um, well, like, well, like I was going to mention was, uh, I'm sure these prices probably vary. Like I'm pretty sure you probably can't buy a gallon of soda vinegar at Walmart in Alaska for 408. I'm pretty sure the prices change based on like supply and demand and all that kind of stuff. So what's next here? Oh. So, got the tank, uh, check the bottom, doesn't appear to have too many, like it's dirty. There was a bunch of crud messed up here and I can see a little bit of rust, but I scraped it off just to see what's underneath and I don't think there's a hole there. But there's one way to find out, fill it full of acid and see if it leaks. Double check to make sure this was tight, double check to make sure this was on off. That's the worst thing that can happen is it leaks. So I'll put a little bit in and I'll make sure it doesn't leak first. Because I've done that before. Oh, what I was going to mention is I tried to... Uh, the works toilet bowl cleaner before um probably similar in price because you could buy it at the dollar store for about a buck i think i bought like 16 of them and it's a pain in the ass to pour it in there if it spatters on your skin it you know it irritates your skin a little bit which i really didn't care um, it's supposed to be way faster uh i didn't have very good results with it i know a lot of the other three-wheeler guys do um maybe i just you know didn't do it right i don't know if you're supposed to put the cap on leave the cap off whatever but uh i cleaned i don't know four or five six gas tanks like this and uh this is what's worked best for me so anyway just put the petcock on off pour a little in make sure your petcock's not leaking if it is some of them like the 125m ones i've cleaned don't actually have a petcock they just got the uh regular flow line and then the reserve line i just took a uh hose put them on each one or one hose between the two and then hose bent them that way you know neither one of them leak and uh, that works pretty well i uh, don't really do any, you don't really have to shake it or anything like that unless you don't fill it all the way. Uh, the very first one I did was a 250SX and I shook it a few times every, whenever I was thinking about it, you know, watch the TV, commercial comes on, walk out to the garage real quick, shake it up a few times. And that one I only did for about 24 hours. The process I use, eh, 36 to 48 hours usually turns out pretty good. So what I'll do is I'll dump the apple cider vinegar in, get it all nice and full, finish it off with some paint thinner. I like to top it right off, get it as full as you possibly can, and then let it sit, you know, for, 24, 48 hours at least. And then I'll hit it with the pressure washer. Um, as long as no one knew you had paint there in there, I don't see a problem with just going to a local car wash and paying like a couple of bucks to use their pressure washer and save getting vinegar all over your sidewalk or wherever, wherever it is that you're actually pressure washing. Um, I'm not saying that I've done that before per se, but uh, that's another option maybe for other people that may have lived in different states that didn't have access to a personal pressure washer like maybe I did before, if you know what I mean. Um, then what I do after that is purge it with gas. Um, I know a lot of people say you fill it full of, uh, I think it's water and a good amount of uh, um, baking, uh, baking soda or whatever to kill the acid. But I just pop top mine off with gas. Take a good old squeeze of any sort of oil. Usually two stroke oil mixes up pretty good. Take like one of the good size, uh, like the gallon mixtures or two and a half gallon mixtures, dump that right in there and take it to the gas station, fill it right to the top, slosh it around, and then find a nice, safe, EPA approved, OSHA approved place to dispose of it. Um, and then uh, just rinse it out with regular gas and then just go to using it. And then once I get these tanks clean, I keep them full right to the very, very top. Like this one here, it's really, really clean, but it's dry. So I'll just leave that one dry. Uh, picked it up and I could hear a little bit of stuff in there. But looking down in, you can see that it's a really, really clean tank. So what I'll do with that one is I'll just throw some gas in it whenever I get ready to run it. And I'll slosh it around and I'll dump it out in a nice, safe, approved area, of course. And then I'll just start running gas in it. And then uh, with this new ethanol bullshit, I always run the uh, fuel stabilizer. Stable, stabilizer. You can get it at Lowe's or most auto parts store, stores. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get this filled up. I'll show you how full it is and all that good stuff. And then I'll find a nice place, safe place for it to sit for a couple days. And then uh, I'll probably show you guys me... Uh, pressure washing it out or whatever and getting it all cleaned up here in a day or two. But uh, that's it for now. So I'll get back with you guys in a couple days. I'll just make it all one good video. All right, so we got two empty gallons of <clears throat> apple cider vinegar. And it's about 
as you can see it's pretty well full and you can see how murky it is I mean obviously it's brown liquid to begin with but all the stuff that's floating in there not so good perfect time to get some practice on using the uh, flashlight with the iPad camera but uh yeah so I'll finish off the rest with uh, this paint thinner here and then we'll find a nice safe spot for it to sit I'm thinking I'm gonna stick a little piece of plastic over here maybe tape it or uh, Probably use some zip ties or something like that, just in case it does get sloshed around a little bit. I know before I've always put the cap on. This one didn't come with a cap, <clears throat> so what I'll probably do is just throw something on there. Just because I don't know if it makes a difference, like oxygen getting to it or whatever. But that's what I've had the best luck with before. So once you have a system that works, don't change it. And then this thing shouldn't turn out too bad with a bunch of pressure washing when I'm done. But we'll go ahead and get it filled up and then. Get her sitting. So as you can see, she's full, full, full. Um, I didn't overfill it. I spilled that before I started filling it, so I didn't use the funnel like an idiot. But as you can see here, it's just above that bottom of the wrapper. So two gallons and what is this a quart pint, whatever, 32 ounce, 946 milliliters plus the two gallons. So definitely get it done with two gallons and a thing of paint thinner for most. 185 S gas tanks But yeah for now we'll just find a nice spot to sit it out of the way make sure that doesn't get sloshed around too much And uh, I'll show you guys here in a couple days. All right guys, so there sits the gas tank um, Probably mess around and throw a cover on it or just set something on top of it at least I Hear my kids screaming inside, but it is 918 on the 7th Saturday the day before Mother's Day so hopefully Get to uh, probably Monday and uh, I'll go ahead and empty this out and spray it all out. What's probably going to suck about this one is it's a really small top hole. A lot of the bigger ones, like the big reds and 350Xs and stuff like that, <clears throat> have a big, a really big opening, a really big cap. So you can really get in there with a the pressure washer and scrape that shit out. But uh, I'm sure I'll still get the job done. And I'll also I'll pull the pet cock and uh, I'll probably go ahead and order one. I'm trying to remember if I have one on the one that's up in New York. I'd like to use the pet cock over that one in the uh, um, cover. So hopefully I can't remember what I did with that tank, so I'm hoping it's still there somewhere. I don't think I would have thrown it out. But anyway, that's enough rambling for tonight. Here in a couple days, we'll get you guys uh, all up to date and let you know how it turned out. All right, guys, here we are two days later. As you can see, it's almost 9 o'clock on the 9th, so Monday. Uh, I see it's leaking out the side, so I'm thinking I got a hole. But I'm gonna still go ahead and clean it anyway. Uh, I'm dumping it into this five gallon bucket real quick and then I'll show you guys how murky it was inside. And then I'm gonna pressure wash it. Don't have much time to video tonight, guys. But I'll show you the after effects hopefully. Alright, guys, so look at that. There was a little bit of stuff in the bottom of the bucket to begin with, just a little bit of dust. But uh, as you can see, that's pretty dirty. Look, at, look how it leaked out. I think it's from one of the seams. Um, I'm still gonna try to run it. Or try to patch it or hillbilly rig it somehow, but we'll see. Um, try to get a shot of the tank. I haven't, run, I haven't rinsed it yet, but see, as you can see, they come pretty clean, almost looks like galvanized. So, I'm gonna go ahead and go pressure wash this out real quick and uh, pressure wash the outside and then go purge it with gas. Um, yeah, all right, guys, so I got it all sprayed off and sprayed out. <clears throat> I didn't have my pressure, well I had my pressure washer, my little low special, but I couldn't hook it up because I forgot to let my buddy borrow my hose. But I found out easily that the outside spigot out of the house has about 8,000 PSI. So I got nice and cold, nice and soaked. But anyway, moral of the story, the gas tank got clean. See, it's pretty clean. So now all I gotta do is, uh, I went and got a couple, or a two and a half gallon Super Tech mixture of two stroke oil from Walmart. So I'll throw this pet cock back on. I'll go purchase this thing with gas real fast. And uh, well, anyway, I guess that's about it for the video. Um, it does probably have a small leak. It'll work for what I'm going to use it for. I'll probably just leave it empty. I'll ride it while I'm in New York, and if it leaks a little bit and gets on my legs, I don't care. It works as, a, as the correct gas tank. Sometime I'll get around, maybe I'll just seal it or try to weld it, something. But for right now, It'll, it'll do its process and then when I leave New York, I'll just leave it empty. And uh, it, it should still hold up pretty good. So, 
I guess that's it. That's the end of the video. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys learned something. And remember the before and after. Look how clean that turned out. Looks like galvanized. And I, I rinsed it out about six times, so should be good to go. Get all the water out of there. Now I'll go purge it with some gas and uh, hang it somewhere inside let it dry. But thanks for watching. Hope you uh, learned something. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Take care, guys.